Good morning from Central Florida. This is the Orlando Prepper. I think we all have some of these sitting around the house. Ammo cans. But this little ammo can is special. Let me show you why. I turned this into a portable solar generator. Better than the ones you can buy off some websites for three to five hundred dollars. I put this one together for a hundred and thirteen dollars and it has more power than most of the ones you buy that's already assembled. Inside we have a 12 volt 35 amp battery and a charge controller for the solar panel. This unit is charged by hooking in a panel like that one. You can get similar ones that work just as well as long as the amperage isn't over 10 amps. It plugs into the box where it says solar in with a cigarette lighter jack. So right now you can see the charge controller is showing 13 volts. So we're going to plug this in and let's see what we get. Bingo! It instantly jumped to 14.4. That means you can use this box while it's charging with components like lights, charging your cell phone, charging your iPad, and it will still charge as you use it in the daylight. The other connections on the front of the box, the first one is a USB jack. That's where you plug in your phones, your, your computer, whatever you want to charge. You just pop it right in there and it'll charge it up. The other jacks are 12 volt cigarette lighter type jacks where you can plug in lights or anything else that has that kind of connection. As long as it doesn't exceed 12 volts, you can charge it right there. I can show you how to make one of these if you would like to. Shoot me an email and I'll be glad to send you back all the dimensions and all of the cutting that I did, which really wasn't very much at all. The wood panel you see in the top is made from a piece of plywood. Get you a 13 and a quarter by 7 and a quarter piece of plywood, thin plywood. Cut it out where the battery will fit inside this, this hole and you just set it right down in the box and attach your charge controller to this front part. Very simple to make. Like I said, very inexpensive compared to the ones you buy already built. And you get a better unit. This one you get, like I said, 420 watts. The ones you buy offline already assembled run between 300 and 500 watts. So this one costs much less and it has as much or more power than most of those. If you have any questions, let me know. Shoot me an email. I'll post some links down below where you can buy the components to put this box together. For now, Orlando Prepper is out.